lucky to be yours And you're taking me Today. today marks a very special day for me this season. It's our 10th wedding anniversary. It's crazy how quickly these last 10 years have gone, to be honest with you. Um, in those last 10 years, we have had some really tough times. It has actually brought me and Stephen closer together. Obviously, we have Ben's autism diagnosis, it's life threatening to see Julie has, and then being diagnosed with epilepsy. So, thanks to the staff at Banbury Hospital and Oxford Hospital, is actually here. They did actually save his life that day. And then also, look all the loved ones passing away. He has like Stephen's mum, my nan, anyway, my granddad. So, like said, so this morning, we'll just have a bit of a late, chill out morning. Sam is playing on Forza again. It's when he's working his diaries, a little bit of reading for me. So I have to, I'm one of these mummies that make him earn his computer time or his Xbox time. Otherwise, we'll just play him all day, to be honest with you. And then Ben is just chilling out on the sofa. He's threw his ball at me, so I think he wants to play some ball. But I'm not so quite sure what we're doing this afternoon. I think we'll wait till Stephen comes home and see what he wants to do. So yesterday when we were in um, CEX, we brought Sammy there to see what you wanted, didn't you? Yeah. Need for Speed. It's only 50p for the Xbox 360. Obviously, we, obviously we've got one down there. Is that good, Sita? Yeah. Oh, wow. What's it with you and racing games? Yeah. Isn't it? You like your football games and Sam likes racing games. Yeah, they're not too bad actually, are they? Really? Okay. On this one, you've got press A for night trust, whatever that is. But so you press A, I think it speeds you up. Or press A. There you go. There you go. 
That's it. Traffic collision, need I ask? So this is what he's asked for for um for Christmas, hasn't he? He's asked for the need for speed on the Xbox One. That's what he wants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? You carry on playing that. When you? I hope I could play it on before. What's the matter? I like playing this game. You like playing this game, yeah. This is the beginning. And that went back for 50p, was it? And I mean, this is starting from the beginning. You got started from the beginning, yes, starting. But don't forget, I know you're in sixth place now, but when you first started pausing, you couldn't do it at first, could you? Yeah. So you got to learn to keep doing it. That's a good boy. I'm good. What do you want for lunch? I want the door. I want the pizza. You want the pizza? You want the pizza? How are you getting on? Yeah. What are you playing? Yeah. What are you playing? Yeah. What, what, what games are you playing on there? FIFA 14. FIFA 14. Well done. I know you're losing 3 7, but you're catching up slowly, aren't you? Yeah. Which is great. We decided not to go out again today because Ben isn't in the best of moods again today, is he? No, we can't keep on. Let's try and tell Sammy. Let's not try and tell Sammy we can't go there because we're going out tomorrow afternoon, aren't we, Sammy? Tomorrow? Yeah. We're going tomorrow. Because who are we going to meet tomorrow? When we did say, can you remember who I know I said? Rowan. No, we're going to meet Tr Tracy tomorrow, aren't we, afternoon at Warwick Castle? So it'd be nice to meet Tracy Mama, tomorrow. She scored again. She scored again. 4 7. <laughs> Catching up. Anyway, um. Three bears. Three bears. Mm. We found a box of DVDs in the garage, didn't we? Yeah. These must have, these must have been what we sort of like ages ago. We put them in the garage, we couldn't find them. So when Stephen um, took the garage out yesterday, he found the whole list. So you see what we've got. So you see we can stick them on eBay and also the online selling sites so you can make a few pennies and stuff. So I think it's it's really a surprise actually to what he's actually finding in there because I can't remember half of these ones he picked up, can you? No. So, oh, we must have... Because um, Sam goes, oh, 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 I remember that one, I remember that one, but he's not having them now because obviously he hasn't missed them because he hasn't said about them, so... Hello guys, it's now five past four. We haven't really done much today. I know it's our wedding anniversary, but, you know, we said to each other that why do we need to go out and have a meal when... Uh, We've got food in the house, you know, plus we've got the kids at home. It's not like anyone else can is going to come up and sit with them, is it? No. We did say what we might do is, when the kids go back to school in September, we might go out for a meal, just us two, didn't we? Somewhere like that, with just us two. But, I don't know, like seems have said, there's no point spending money when we can cook a nice romantic meal for four of us later on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know it's our 10-year wedding anniversary. I know some people like to have parties and everything else, but... It's so difficult to try and get this family together now, you know, and that's me being honest and Shell agrees with that. You know, it just feels like everyone's out for each other, you know, yeah, and, so. and that's me not lying because that's the way it feels. Yeah. You know, you, you've, achieved, you've achieved 10 years of being married and you feel like that um, you haven't got anywhere because you feel like, you know, no one cares really. No, a few years ago we did look at having a party when you were our wedding bells for like say especially at Whitmore we got married but I tell you what it's so so expensive now because I know my sister and her fiance they're planning to get married and what we we got married now was about eight no it's about two and a half grand isn't it tired of filling up where we got where we got married. Yeah. And now and when we got and when we did now was ten years ago it was eight hundred quid. Yeah, the thing is now, we both wish we would have done it some other way, don't we? We do wish we wish had it already exceptional Oh, well done, sweetheart. So we just played on his um, FIFA game. Again, that was cheap, let's say, only 50 pills it from the CX. But yeah. as I say, yeah, we wish we got married and had a reception only one day, because obviously uh, the church will let us film for some reason, but Stephen wore a mic, didn't you? So we got, well, at least we got our vows on tape. On, yeah. on, say tape, but on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. It is on Blu-ray, which is good, so... Yeah, so if you want to see that footage, you need to go back to the vlog from last year, which is which that is on and is, uh, yeah. I'm not going to repeat it again because some people might just, just not bother with it no. anyway but what I am going to do this year um, what you're going to see in just a moment it's a, a video re retrospective of those who are no longer with us who were here 10 years ago yes, it was yeah. your mum first first um, first person that passed away was my mum and uh, she died just before Christmas that year. One thing you got to realise is, which is nice in one way, the wedding was the last happy memory 
your mum yeah, had. She did enjoy it. She did enjoy yeah. looking good. And then six weeks later, sadly, after your mum died, my granddad passed away. Yeah. And then uh, your nan Beryl passed away, but I can't remember I can't what remember year she, she passed away. I can't away. remember what and I can't remember when she passed away. Then. And then a couple then of years. Your, your nan. Yeah, your nan Joyce. Years, my nan Joyce passed away. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoy this little footage we've got of those. It's nice to remember those who are longer with us. Like that, she shared our special day with us. Yeah. Yeah, I miss my mum considerably. You know, she didn't. You know that didn't really need to happen to her and um, you know this is why family life is not as good because you know ever since she's passed away you know I feel like everything's just fell downhill and you know we go on day-to-day -day life you know we just get on with it basically don't we Cheryl? Yeah I know it's probably every family is the same as that isn't it so yeah. but to us it's a special day we remember it for our own special reasons as well what we say. So then guys, um, sit back and um, take a memory, memory lane walk back for us on those who are no longer here with us.
the air that I breathe Yes, and you You are all that I need You are the sun A gift of light You are the my comfort at night You are the water That keeps me alive You are the ground On which I stand Yes, you are Wherever you go I follow you there Whatever you do be there for you and I will be forever true true to you and I I give it all I give you my life I give you my soul and I know So yeah, so our um, romantic dinner for four is lasagna. The kids absolutely love it. Um, they also love anything like shepherd's pie, that sort of thing. But anyway, I've got my um, gluten-free lasagna sheets so Ben can have them as well. I've got like the um, that tomato sauce, the creamy sauce. And I don't know why I got that one up for. I do not know. Oh yeah, I know what it was because there was an offer in Iceland. You could buy like the sauces, the um, lasagna sheets, pasta, and also the sketty six for a five pound we thought wasn't too bad same as this mince was a too bad off fresh well i know it was frozen but you could cook it from frozen it was three quid for 800 grams i thought that wasn't too bad so anyway so i just fried this off so i'm going to drain the oil add my lasagna sauce and then i'm gonna make my layers up yes yeah, so i just added my lasagna sauce um brought it all to the board type of thing so put a little bit in here Spoonful in there. Can't make it. I if I put two, two spoonfuls in there. And that's it. I spread it all out and then give it a go, really. So it gets on. Like so. Put one more. I put, I think I'll just put one more in actually. One more spoonful. That's it. That'll do. I'll tell you what, I can tell you the difference between, fro between using frozen mints and fresh mints, though. So that's it. Like so. Add my lasagna sheets. One, two, three. And add a bit of my sauce, like so. And grab my knife and sprinkle it all over. One thing I like about lasagna is it doesn't have to be neat, it can be rather messy anyway as well. So it doesn't matter. Like so. Before I've added a layer of cheese to this as well, 
But um, Stephen's not that keen on cheese, is it? It was too cheesy. If I did it that way. And that's it, like that'll do. And then add my rest of my mince on top. Off a little bit. Let's spread that all out. Like that. That's it. Oh, so that was just in there actually. That's it. Spread it all out and then relay and then put my last slot on top. I right, then add my last of my sauce on the top. Sissy, so there's Ben here. You know my darling? You know my mum's cooking. You love lasagna, don't you? Get my knife. Like so. And then, normally Sammy loves to sprinkle the cheese on the top, but like I said, he's playing on his on his game. There we go. Mm. And then get my cheese, and then just sprinkle my cheese on top. Isn't that look nice. There we go, and I think there's in the other end for about, what should it say, mm, half an hour. So yes, this is our lasagna, um, all freshly nice and cooked, really, really looking forward to the lasagna. So I'm going to try and cut it up, hopefully I still get my layers inside. It's a problem this, isn't it? So I'll cut it there, back in the middle. There we go, look at that, doesn't that look really nice and yummy? Here we go. So yeah, so this is, like I said, this is our romantic meal for four of us. So then guys, that ends today's vlog and yeah, looking back on the memories of those who are no longer with us. Yeah, I hope you appreciate the look back we've done today. It's a bit different than normal and um, I hope you all enjoyed it as well. We did, yeah, we thought, enjoyed it, but yeah, <laughs> we thought it'd be nice. Obviously, it's like I said, it's been 10 years now since we got married. We thought it'd just be nice to, to remember this day in a different way, so to speak, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, because like I said, we had that sanya we cooked for tea, was really, really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, could have done a bit more. <laughs> I know. So yeah, so um, obviously it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't much going on today. But you see, we just dropped the camera there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but like I said, we're going to Warwick Castle tomorrow. It's going to be nice meeting Tracy, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to meet one of our another subscribers tomorrow, Tracy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Weekend's going to be nice, so we're not going out the weekend. We've got to go to where we're going to go, but yeah. we're not going to tell Sammy. It's going to be hot the weekend. Yes. So, because otherwise we just tell Sammy, you're not on and on and on about it. And then we've got a few, then obviously we've got the last few days planned then for next week, because then the final week is about school, didn't they? Yeah. So we're not going to the... Um, Hatton on Tuesday. Hatton on Tuesday. Don't and forget that horse place is only yeah. open Friday, Saturday, 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 Monday. Because we also want to go there today. Yeah. But unfortunately they've changed their opening time, so we're going to go back there next it's week. Got a Monday afternoon if you wish. I could get a Monday afternoon, yeah. It was yeah. going to be nice. Yeah. So anyway, I um, was going to say thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And then we'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. Bye bye. Guys, thank you very much for watching we'll, today. Oh, well, yeah, thanks for all your and, happy. All and your thank happy, you very much for all the birthday messages I've had, and even happy anniversary it's, messages we've yeah, had we as well. Happy, happy anniversary messages as well, so thank you very much for those. <laughs> okay, guys, Peace. so the memories will live forever for us, and uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Hope you had a good night tonight, Stephen. Uh, I'll try my best with the speech and uh, uh, good luck in the future. Um, this is from your brother, from the heart. As you know, my speech was from the heart and uh, all the best. Congratulations, Stephen and Cheryl. You make a wonderful couple and you're ideally suited. All the best for the future. From us all. From us all, yes. Okay. We love you so much. Take care. <laughs> uh, look at my camera here. Right, we had a good party, uh, Stephen, and uh, we're really enjoying ourselves. And Maria, and plenty of dancing, yes? And uh, we'll enjoy the night away. Thank you very much. Stephen and Cheryl, we've had a lovely day, really enjoyed it. I hope you have too, um, and all the best for the future. Thank you.
Okay, Stephen, Cheryl, uh, thanks very much first of all for inviting us to, uh, to such a wonderful event today. I hope everything goes well for you in the future and just basically the best of luck and we'll be there for you if you ever need us. All right, all the best guys. Good luck to all your friends at Tesco's. Tesco's. Cheryl, Michelle, Steve, no, that's her sister. You better stop that one. <laughs> Cheryl and Stephen, uh, thanks for a really great day. Um, hope you have a really happy life together and we wish you all the luck for the future. Hi Cheryl and Stephen, thank you for letting us share your special day with you. And may every single one afterwards be as special as this one is. Cheryl, thank you for a lovely day and also for giving me two lovely grandchildren. Wish you both a really happy life together. Yeah. Alright. Take care. Congratulations, Cheryl and Stephen. You make a fantastic couple. We've had a fantastic day. Love to you both. Congratulations, Cheryl and Stephen. Best of luck for all the future. We've had a great day. Thank you very much, Stephen. We have had a good day. We've all had a good time and all the best for the future. Congratulations. Thank you for having us and I enjoyed doing the flowers and I hope you enjoyed them. All right, the cookster. Were well, you cooking monster? You can say what? Ma'am Collins. Right? Congratulations to both of you. You're still my baby cookie monster Is when I right? say give me cookie Is on the right? old telly. <laughs> when you're a little boy. Cheers to let me be your usher this evening, Steve, and um, enjoy your honeymoon. I'm sure you will, mate. Well, Cheryl, it's been a wonderful day. Glad, glad to be your new husband. And uh, I think you look smashing today in your uh, wedding dress. And I love you loads from now until eternity. I hope you've enjoyed our special day together. I know I have, and I know today was special. And I can't spend the rest. I can't wait to spend the rest, the rest of our lives together. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest. to be yours to be